Just drop in your image, click generate, and boom, within a second, you have a 3D model that resembles your image. It's not perfect, but it's really fast. So let's see how I did that. On March 5th, Stability AI releases Tripo SR, a fast 3D object generation from single images. It's created in partnership with Triple AI that you might have heard of, and you can generate high quality 3D models from a single image in under a second. And you saw me do that, so it is pretty accurate. It runs under low interference budget, even without a GPU. You can download it for free and use it locally, and they allow for commercialized personal and research use. You can check out some of the examples here of input images and Tripo SR outputs. You can already tell they're not perfect, but pretty cool, and they also compare with some other stuff. I'll leave a link in the description. You can check it out for yourself if you'd like, but let me show you how to install it. There's a couple of ways actually, but I'm just gonna show you one. It's really quick and easy. And with this method, you'll be able to install almost anything that that you want in the future also super super easy introducing pinocchio you've probably heard about it but if not then hey you can install run and control a lot of stuff on your computer with just one click i was totally sold on the idea so i decided to install it and try it out for you guys it works so here's how you do it you click download you get a zip file you extract it and launch the setup file save it and the download begins super easy and fast now when you open it you have pinocchio installed and if you scroll you'll be able to see a bunch of cool stuff that you can install with just one click obviously it takes a little bit of time to download all the models to install everything but point is you don't have to do any of that yourself you know i do have a tutorial on installing stable diffusion and roop and you can check it out on my channel but it does take quite a lot of time but this one's easy click boom install and you're done here we scroll and find tripo sr head download save it's downloading real fast then we click install and that one will take a little bit of time it will download a few files so depending on your internet connection it might take a little bit it took me about seven to 10 minutes to install it. The video is sped up, obviously, you guys. Then I just run and start. It starts and we have a local link. If you're familiar with AI stuff that runs locally, that's a pretty common thing. So we open it and here we have Tripo SR running locally on our computer. That was not painful, right? So here we have it. Tripo SR is a state-of-the-art open source model for fast feed-forward 3D construction from a single image developed in collaboration between Tripo AI and Stability AI. Here's some tips. If you find the result is unsatisfied, please try to change the foreground ratio. It might improve the results. Please disable remove background option only if your input image is RGBA with a transparent background. Image contents are centered on occupy more than 70% of image width or height. They also have some examples below that you can check out for yourself. But let's start playing around with some of the generations that I made over the years. So here I'm dropping an image. This is a beautiful aerial right here. I click generate and we have a processed image that it where it tries to remove the background even though it removed the bow also but that's okay and we have the generation it was like super fast right it looks interesting you know <laughs> you can download it here with the icon that's pretty cool here's another image where I already removed the background but it's not looking so great the cat is flat let's say um, that's pretty interesting interesting but that's fun nonetheless so i figured that it has to create all the sides from its imagination in a way so what if you give it all the sides so here i tried it with the uh, three versions of the same person that didn't work out then i cropped the image and i tried with two and look how cool this is so when we look closer we see the front represented in the image is also represented in the 3d model but the back is kind of weird like they didn't really do a good job but then we have the back of the person looks great but when we look at the front from the generation it doesn't look as great so in essence if you wanted to you could prompt it to do these two at the same time for example and then inside blender or other 3d software remove the parts of the back or the front and then kind of glue the two parts that look good together 
that's just an idea you guys that maybe one of you will find helpful who knows let's uh, keep trying more stuff so here I have kind of like a Disney Pixar one that looks pretty interesting pretty cool I like how it understands that this is hair this is a different object from the body and it doesn't smoosh the two together and how it imagines all of it that's that's pretty pretty cool man okay I tried a pixelated one uh, that didn't go so well it just kind of looked like flat pixels but I guess it makes sense in a way you know I tried an anime one that didn't work out tried a realistic portrait uh it was weird and from all sides basically but it just takes one second to generate. So why not try it all? Here's a sculpture, which actually turned out quite lovely. I like the continuation of the curves on the hair at the back as well, but it didn't give it a body, which I suppose is fine. So I'm just trying it with different foreground ratio, but it gets worse and worse, not better and better. I decided to try eyes because why not? And the result were kind of what I expected, which is not much. Then I tried a drawing and that one actually turned out pretty cool you know because it really did push the face out like we know as humans we realize this is a drawing this is a 2d thing there's no three-dimensionality there this is not a real person but when you generate a 3d model with it that looks pretty cool and then i tried a puppy and the puppy turned out pretty cute not the first time but when i played a little bit with the foreground ratio which does matter obviously you know the generations are quite different it turned out really adorable i think it's my favorite of all the bunch then i tried humans and oh like um if you like horror films then yeah then just go for it but that was pretty weird and then i played with foreground ratio but then the hair was smooshed and there was like no separation between body and hair and the face was all messy but if you look at the body itself the body looks pretty good we have the two feet we have the shoes it looks it looks good the body part for sure. Then I tried some other stylized digital art stuff that didn't work out. So I thought, okay, let's say, let's say for the sake of this example, that, you know, you can't generate 3D models, realistic 3D models yet that would look good, that you could just plug in a game. Probably not there yet. We're getting there, but probably not yet. So what if you could use it to speed up a process for yourself? For example, add items to the game or animation, whatever it is that you're creating, because you just want something to be there. You need something to be there, but it's going to be noticed for like 0.1 second. Could you get away with doing that? So I tried juice boxes and you know what? They actually look good. If you just threw them on some table without a close up or anything like that, then yeah, for sure you can use it. And then you, ha you have saved yourself a little bit of time modeling them. Then the burgers that turned out pretty good too. Yeah, the picture is cut out. I know, but I was too lazy to generate another one. Then I tried books. Books look pretty good too. Again, you can just throw them into your your scene just kind of at the back just for something to be there and you know you can use it like that why not ai is meant to be used of course it's like super fun but you know if we can find uses for it then it's even better so here i want to show you real quick i went to remove.bg to remove backgrounds of some images and tested without the remove background feature i did it for a couple of images that i found on unsplash and those that i generated and you know what looks pretty good like the pineapple looks good the orange too but i found that the there was something weird going on with like the sizing so i would have to like crop them to generate actual proper fruit and if i didn't crop an image uh, then it was just kind of squished so that's kind of funny i tried a building that was a little bit weird <laughs> Uh, a city that was quite interesting you know like from super far you can still tell it's a city kind of i guess but definitely not up close it's very abstract i think that's what it is it's abstract 3d art tried with a couple more things some worked better than others but it was definitely fun especially since it's like super fast so you can go through so many images like 10 20 images in one minute if you wanted to because why not and here are just some of the examples from them and you can see that also some images work better than others like the fox turned out pretty lovely all right so i just dropped all of them inside blender and we have a amazing abstract art here but yeah if we just look at one of them at a time you can see how blobby they are there's no like sharp angles they're not really structured in that way they're very very blobby but if you know what you're doing 
then you could sculpt on top of it and it could be just your base saving you a little bit of time so yeah here's all the stuff that we created and before we end i wanted to show you one more cool thing so if you know about maximo.com like you drop in a character then rig it and then there's some animations you can play with right away so i tried it on a different character it didn't really work out at first but then i tried it on a girl and it did and you know what it is what it is so here's our girl doing some animations very own unique character look at her style damn and now that is talent if that's not art i don't know what is <laughs> jokes aside i just wanted to share this cool little thing with you that i was playing with yesterday hey and check it out play with it too if you want and let me know in the comments if you care about you know all sorts of ai art including 3d art maybe music maybe text i'm interested in all forms of it but so far i've only been talking about stable diffusion which i plan on continuing to do but yeah just let me know if you also like all of it Thanks for watching and hey, if you're still here, check out one of these two next. I will see you soon. Bye.